Hi, I'm Peter. In this Lens Studio tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the countdown template for creating face lenses. The countdown template allows you to create a lens which displays a countdown towards a specific date. You can customize the messages the lens displays before and after the countdown is complete. The template also includes 3D customizable hat and glasses, as well as animations that can be triggered on user interaction. This template is perfect for creating lenses in celebration of a special event, like a birthday or anniversary. To get started, select the countdown template from the Lens Studio home screen. To customize the countdown, select the object named Countdown Controller Edit Me in the Objects panel. Its settings are displayed in the Inspector panel. We'll adjust these settings to customize our countdown lens. The countdown message animates into view when the lens is opened and after the user triggers an event, such as tapping or opening their mouth. You can change the event that triggers the animation by changing the selection in the drop-down menu named Animation Trigger. Let's change the trigger to Tap. Now, when the user taps the screen, the countdown message will display. To set the date which your lens is counting down to, modify the month and day properties in the Countdown Property group. You can set a custom message that follows the day count by changing the property named Text in the Countdown Message Property group. You can set a custom message that follows the day count by changing the property named Text in the Countdown Message Property group. When the date is reached, a different message will be displayed. When the date is reached, a different message will be displayed. This message is called the Reveal Message. You can edit it by changing the property named Text in the Reveal Message property group. You can edit the look of the hat's color in the inspector by selecting and editing the primary, secondary, tertiary, and palm colors. Let's continue editing the hat by tweaking its size and position. You can adjust the hat size using the hat size slider and you can adjust its position using the hat offset slider. You can remove the hat from your lens by deleting the birthday hat anchor object located in the objects panel under camera, effects, head binding, birthday hat anchor. Let's move on to modifying the sunglasses. Similarly to the hat, you can edit the look of the sunglasses in the inspector panel by editing the primary, secondary, and lens colors. You can change the frame size of the sunglasses by adjusting the frame size slider. You can adjust its position using the frame offset slider. The template also allows you to place an image in the lenses of the sunglasses by changing the Lens Image property. To do this, import your image by dragging and dropping it from your computer to the Resources panel. Then, click the Lens Image property field and choose the newly imported texture. You can adjust the lens image's transparency by changing the image intensity slider, and you can adjust its size using the image size slider. Like the hat, you can remove the sunglasses by deleting the sunglasses anchor object in the objects panel. For more information on the countdown template, visit the countdown template page of the Lens Studio website. Thanks for watching, and have fun creating your own countdown lenses using Lens Studio.